There's a lot of issues out there right now in smartphone space. There's a lot of myths that exist right now. And we would like to uh, bust these myths. So Kevin's team and my organization have been behind the scenes. A lot of people have been working very hard on actually working against this. And Kevin and I have been doing some lab work ourselves. And we want to show you some of the things we've actually been doing to bust some of these myths. Welcome to another episode of Myth Hackers. We got another great show today. What are we gonna cover this time? Well, this week's myth comes all the way from Silicon Valley. Steve from Cupertino has written us because he's heard that it's not possible to run Flash on the iPhone, and frankly, he just can't believe it. Kevin, there's got to be an app for that. Well, that's what we're here to find out. The iPhone has been constructed with state-of-the-art technology. It therefore seems reasonable that it should be able to run Flash, the state-of-the-art for engaging experiences across the web. So let's start with what's in our control, Kevin. Let's first determine where Flash runs, and more importantly, where it doesn't run. So after testing on 37 different devices, we got Flash to run on all of them. Everywhere, including this box with a set-top box to go with it. Now, the only devices we weren't able to run Flash on were um, this one and also the iPhone. Time to bring in the expert. So what's your perspective on Flash and the iPhone? You know, Flash runs on everything. It runs on desktops, it runs in browsers, it runs even on boats and planes. But I can't get it to run on, a, on an iPhone. Why is that? <sighs> Forget it, I'm out. OK, so it's not looking like it's possible to run Flash on an iPhone. Well, if you're thinking what I'm thinking, now's about the time of the show when we want to take an iPhone and run a highly controlled set of specific experiments to rectify the situation. OK, Kevin, let's get things started. I have the latest iPhone 3GS technology. Excellent. I have here the latest Flash technology burned onto a CD-ROM. Let's combine them. Safety first. All right. All right, let it rip. Well, that doesn't look very good. Maybe it needs a little more juice. That wasn't supposed to happen. Hey, Johnny, I've got an idea. Let's ask a ninja. What kind of a stupid question is that? When you are a ninja, you do not need an iPhone. Good. All right, fire in the hole. I think what we need to do here is actually really embed Flash into the phone. Not happening. That's a wrap, Kevin. Way to go. Where's your car? It is right over there. OK, so we've tried just about every experiment imaginable. Apparently, this myth cannot be hacked. Kevin, I don't think iPhone can run Flash. Wait, I've got one more idea. Let's call Adobe. I know some people there. Hello, Adobe Engineering. We're doing some research on Flash and the iPhone. We're wondering if you can give us the straight story. Just recently, we've gotten it working for standalone applications. And in fact, there's Flash applications on the, uh, on the App Store today. Well, I guess there is an app for that. Yes, and as you can well see, Flash does run an iPhone now. So I think we can call this myth well and truly hacked. So right about now, you're asking the question, oh, that was pretty funny, but it wasn't true, was it? It's true. We are ecstatic today to announce the fact that we are enabling you to use all your favorite Flash development tools, including Flash Professional, uh, actually develop these applications and then compile them to run natively on the iPhone. And just to prove that I'm not faking it, we're going to do it. Chroma Circuit, this is a very popular uh, uh, app, web app, web-based application today. And again, uh, very simplistic in its approach. Uh, this again was all done uh, with Flash behind the scenes. And then if I come back on here, let's see if I can get this to go quickly. You can see how the game works pretty simplistically. Again, what we're trying to do is make it very simplistic for people to actually use the familiar tools and then actually recompile them. 
Last one I'm going to show you right now is uh, actually a fun one. This is the uh, avatar creator from South Park. This is one of the newer applications uh, that just actually was posted recently. We're going to pick one of these. And as you saw, we showed you in the video, uh, we're going to basically put a shirt on him or a top or her whatever the case might be. We'll change uh, to put a pair of pants on very quickly. Uh, we'll, of course, have to put some hair on there, something entertaining, and there you have it. So again, what we're trying to do here is just show you that these applications I'm showing you right now, by the way, are all available today on the App Store, uh, on the Apple uh, App Store. Now, I want to do one more thing, which is interesting that we showed you that part of it, but the other piece is, so how did we get there? How hard is it to actually do? So you're seeing now, and you will see shortly, is the fact how we're going to use Flash Pro. And from within, right within Flash Pro, I can come in now and actually, if I get active to my mouse, there it is. I can come over and right within the uh, profile edit, I just come over, instead of picking Flash Player as my option, I just scroll down and I pick iPhone. And now what I'm doing is, I have the ability now to basically compile directly to the uh, ARM processor within for the iPhone.